Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Just caught tight playing Barbies. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Yeah, I doubt that. Are you playing Barbies too? Happy Saturday, guys. We are headed out the door for Ty's last basketball game of the season. You ready, Ty? Yes. What are you gonna do this game? Shoot baskets, maybe. All right, what else? That's it. That's it. All right, well, we're headed out the door right now to his game, and then after, we're picking up our Walmart grocery pickup, and we'll show you our grocery haul. I do have to show you guys, though. I tried on all those clothes from Target last night. If you haven't checked out that vlog, Go check it out. We'll link it right here at the top. And I scored a target, but let me show you what I'm keeping. All right, you guys, the only thing I kept were these capris. Why? Because they were $13 at Target. The rest of it I am actually returning. Why? Having a little mom guilt. Spent too much money, don't really need it. So, going to Target today, returning all that stuff, but I did keep these crop pants. They're super comfy, $13 at Target. Go get him. To wake up Stella from her nap, but we gotta go, huh? I sorry. Hate waking up babies from their naps, but they just look so cute, huh? All right, we're heading into Ty's game. Last one, Ty. Yeah. Unless you go to the finals. Unless you go. This is the finals, isn't no, it? No, this is the qualifying. I, but I don't think they qualified already. I think we already know that they just didn't win enough games. Okay. So they are out. I think this is the absolute last game of the season. Okay. Let's make it count, Ty. I want to go. How many baskets do you want to get? Two, at least. Two baskets. Two that, baskets. That would be a record for Ty. Okay. Let's make it happen. Here Let's we go. Do it. Get a little refreshment. I got your water. Okay, are you guys the cheerleaders today? Yeah, it's your tie on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Marcos is nice and likes to get out of the car and go help him load and greet. I usually stay in the car just because they usually have kids and they're usually screaming and whatever. But if he's out there. A lot of water, so we get we always get a little case of water. I think everyone does that nowadays. Especially in Nevada, we don't have very good water here. You're right, it's a pretty bad tap. And if we keep them in the fridge, we all drink more water. They're just chilled, ready to go, boom shakalaka. True, that's Ty's job. He always puts the water bottles in the fridge when we ask him to. The dream in the future is to get one of those, what do you call those machines? You just put the little five gallon jug on top, get some water in a cup. Yeah, let's get one. Anyway. Okay, Starburst candy. This is for what, Valentine's Day? This will be for, for Valentine's. Stay tuned for the next vlog. We've got some cute little cutouts and the kids chose this as their Valentine's. So that's for Valentine's Day for their classes. Cute little saying with it. Dr. Pepper for, for the me, mother of the house. It's a necessity. I do like these. These take me way back to my childhood. I like these toaster strudels for the kids. They love them. The flavor is apple. Apple, like a hot apple pie. Yeah. It's more of a treat in my opinion, but whatever. You guys eat what you eat for breakfast. Pop tarts, brown sugar. It's one of the classic flavors that we love. Another treat. <laughs> Another treat. This is a treat. Honey nut Cheerios. No, that's what I eat for breakfast. Yeah, this fights off high cholesterol. Okay, we got Lucky Charms, another sugar cereal. Frosted Flakes. The Ooh, kids the chose all of these. The kids chose all the sugary cereals. Honestly, I don't really like cereal, but Marcus loves cereal. This is his favorite coming up next. Well, I love cereal because I love milk. Oh, I don't like milk. Yeah, I think that's the problem. That is the problem. And then we have one of my favorites. The, yes. The O's cereal. Who else now, loves these? Comment below if you love O's, or comment below actually your favorite cereal. Mine is probably Honey Nut Cheerios or Frosted Mini Meats. Marcos's is... Funny story about those O's, do you want to share? Oh my gosh, what's the story? <laughs> I can't remember. When you hit him. Oh yeah, okay, so Ty, I mean he loves them also. So whenever we buy them, it's almost a fight to even have a bowl of this cereal <laughs> to myself, because Ty just, he ravages through it. So last time I bought it, I put it in the cupboard, just right up here in the, the high shelf and he never knew we had it. And it sat there for probably a week because even I forgot we had it. Oh dear. And then uh, Chelsea reminded me. And so I had like three bowls and then I let Ty have it because he saw it. Ty but. wants to have cereal every day after school, but I tell him he can have cereal one or two days after school. That's the rule. Otherwise, we run out so fast and we run out of milk so fast. Stella, what you doing? Uh. Stella loves the pantry, getting into my cans. Hi Stella. And you say good night. You're gonna go take a nap. Say night night. Stella. All the food you just want to eat. Yeah. Eat, eat, eat. <laughs> she probably does need some lunch. All right, moving on. We got a dozen eggs here. Now, funny story about this. I came downstairs this morning. I was gonna make pancakes. Got the biscuit. <laughs> got the milk. Poured it in, and realized we didn't have eggs. Uh. Any eggs. So I had to decide what I was gonna do about those eggs. Chelsea, Chelsea said we could borrow some from a neighbor. I was like, just no. one egg, right? And did two eggs. Okay, two eggs, but still. So I just ran down the street. I was planning on getting a half a dozen. They didn't have half a dozen, so I had to get a whole dozen. So now we have a dozen in our fridge, and we have another dozen that we ordered 
last night. And so we have two dozen eggs now. So what should we make? Scrambled eggs one night for dinner? Have breakfast for dinner? Yep. Because that's why we didn't have eggs. I made a huge breakfast for dinner. I had scrambled eggs for dinner. Oh, okay. Well, we so, can make omelets. We can yeah. make... They'll be good. They'll be good. Breakfast burritos. Deviled eggs. Yuck. Yuck? Okay. <laughs> I don't you know, like those. Napkins, always a necessity. Bounce dryer sheets. I don't now, know why we get the like the smallest stack. We go through <laughs> it like every week. They're expensive. No, this has how many does this have? Like 34. 34. And I do like four loads a week. Stella. Yes. <laughs> going crazy, Stella. You going crazy? She chucked that olive. She can. did check that. She hates olives like dad. <laughs> so Marcus and I were watching a show this week and a commercial came on about bounce dryer sheets and they were saying, oh, just put it in your dryer and then it'll make all your clothes not wrinkled. We were both like, yeah, yeah right. right. We've been buying these for years. I think it might help a little bit. If anything, I feel like it helps make them smell good and also just helps with static and stuff. But I don't think it makes them not wrinkled, do you? Um, maybe you have to throw in like three in a bigger load. Like mm. more than just one. You gotta throw two or three or even okay. four. Okay, okay. Chelsea tried this out last time. Oh my gosh, you guys. I've done it in a few of my laundry um, vlogs. They smell so good. And this is one of the best things about Walmart. So I ordered just the really small pack. It's about $6.50 and this was a substitute. So Walmart didn't have the small pack, so they give me this huge bottle. Let's compare it to something. It's as big as this Go-Gurt pack, you guys. It's huge, and I got like triple the amount, but the best part is I got it for the exact same price. So this normally is probably about $20, maybe, 15, and I still got it for 650 because it was a substitute. So if they don't have something that I ordered on the list, they do a substitute, and we have a few more as we go on. We needed some more vegetable oil. We were running out. That's always needed for pancakes okay. and other stuff. Then we have Doritos, party size. And Chelsea loves to get family size, party size. Do like I? The big <laughs> sizes. And I guess it lasts longer. We'll probably save money doing that. This will probably last us a couple days. We're moving into the kids' lunches section right here. So they love Doritos. Capri Suns. Capri Suns, and this was so cute. They had little Valentine's ones. I didn't even order that, but that's the one that they gave me in that flavor. So the kids were excited about that. Hallie requested Cheetos, and Ty requested Doritos. Another breakfast item we always have, or the kids always request, chewy granola bars. They put them in their lunches. They have them as snacks, but also breakfast, depending on how fresh they are. And we got these fruit pouches. These... Are you ready for a nap, silly? Silly, silly. <laughs> Don't fall backwards. We get the fruit pouches on the go. Very easy for little kids. Livy just grabs one and eats it. Stella's too young still, but she will eventually graduate into these. Okay, then we got these yogurts for whom? Who eats these? I eat them and the kids eat them. I like to put granola in them as a snack. Okay, do we have granola? Yeah. Oh. All right, this was a, I don't know if this is a Walmart a fail. fail. Or just, we ordered a big bunch of mini bananas. The mini ones are like probably three quarters the size. They're called mini bananas. And they said they didn't have those, so they gave us this instead. But I'm not sure why they gave us just <laughs> two. Like, two bananas. This will last They weren't even like together. <laughs> like like this will be done in an hour and we'll finish this tonight. So <laughs> we're done. Okay. One of our favorite brands of bread, we get the Grandma Sycamores. We always get the honey whole wheat. Um, white bread, it's just something we're not used to getting. So we've been getting whole wheat for a long time. Forever. Yeah, forever. I've never bought white bread. Yeah. So it almost tastes weird when we get white bread or yeah. have white bread. Okay, this is another thing for the kids' lunch. These Crustables. Hallie likes the grape, Ty likes the strawberry. So we have strawberry in the freezer and the grape are gone. So we just got the grape. Cuties. Man, aren't these just so cute? The kids will eat these for lunches and they come home and have one. Sometimes if they're still hungry before bed, it's easy. They can peel it. So it's a great little snack. We have these honey crisp apples. I think Chelsea mentioned these last time. These are like one of the best types of apples you can have. They taste really good and they're small. So again, the kids will just like grab them and eat it. I don't have to chop it up. So last week we decided not to get these just to save a couple bucks. Yeah. We got these instead, the pink lady. And they are not even good. They didn't even last like a week. And honestly, my kids didn't like them as much. So we still have a few left over. 
They'll still eat them if we cut them up, but these ones are usually gone within a week. Honey crisp. Another staple in this household. It is very convenient. Ham and cheddar. We have the turkey and cheddar. So this little one is perfect for Stella right now. So if I'm like on the run or something, um, and I just need her to feed herself. It's already cut, it's already tiny little pieces, and I just put it on her tray and she'll feed herself and eat the whole thing. Same with if we're in a rush for school lunches, like one of each for Ty and Hallie. So they get a Lunchable once or twice a week, a Crustable another day, they make a sandwich, they can buy lunch, they like variety, so. Another fruit that we just absolutely love and can't go without. Livy asks for these every day. And here's a funny story. Last week we got green grapes from Walmart and we opened the bag. Oh, they were disgusting. They were disgusting, you guys. They were mushy, they were brown. Some had white, like, glossy mold on them. And it was probably half the size. Half that I size. Like, and really? you know, grapes aren't super cheap, so if I'm gonna pay like six, seven dollars for grapes, I want them to be good. So, all I had to do though was call Walmart and say, you know what, some of my produce is bad, and I told them, and they gave me a refund and a $15 credit, like I mentioned in yesterday's vlog. Check it out if you haven't seen it, because I show you how I did this whole grocery list right on my phone, and then I had a $15 promo code because I called Walmart. They were like, we're so sorry, let us make it up to you and give you a refund. So don't be afraid to call Walmart if you do the Walmart pickup and you're not the one picking out your groceries, they will give you a refund for anything that is not up to your standards. And every once in a while they give you a 10 to $15 promo code to use on your next order. So it's kind of nice. All right, next we've got Go-Gurts. We bought a pack last week and they're already gone. So kids love these, all three kids. Even Stella likes these. So it's a staple for sure, every grocery run. Hot dog buns, but guess what we forgot? The hot dog. Well, we didn't forget. We didn't forget? No, they were out of stock. They were out of stock. So I added them into the grocery list and Marcus was on his phone checking the grocery list at work and adding in some stuff that he wanted. And he said, oh, something was out of stock and I deleted it on accident. And he couldn't remember what it was. And I didn't double check the list. Anyway, it was hot dogs. So we gotta go grab some hot dogs just at a different store sometime this week. But. Tuesday is my birthday. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. So Tuesday night, I have some friends doing a little get together for me. So I will not be here. So I told Marcos, you guys make whatever you want. He wanted to make hot dogs. So use your new grill. Okay, so Thursday is Valentine's Day, you guys. And sometimes Marcos and I go out. Sometimes we get takeout. And this year we're doing something fun with the kiddos. We're going to make homemade pizzas. And I don't want them to hear me, so that's why. So, I'm gonna go get some pizza dough from Trader Joe's. I've never gotten it there before, but I had a friend tell me that it's super good. So I'm gonna go get that, and then we've got some toppings here. We've got Italian sausage, pepperoni, pepperoni. Oh, I have, should I whip out the dance? Provolone. yeah, whip out the dance. Let's see if he can still do it. Can I replicate this? Pepperoni. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen Dad Does the Pepperoni Dance, check out that vlog. It's pretty hilarious. Marcos does an impromptu pepperoni dance. All right, so then we just have some mozzarella cheese to put on top. I personally like a green pepper, some pineapple with my pepperoni. That's my favorite kind of pizza topping, so I got that for me. Did you get pineapple chunks or pineapple just tidbits? pineapple tidbits, just like on regular pizza. Okay. Um, so yeah, that'll be a fun little experience. And then I just got a Caesar salad kit to have kind of on the side for something kind of healthy. Mm. I'm probably the only one that'll eat it, me and Marcos. Some croutons, some grape tomatoes to add to that Caesar salad kit. All right, so I don't know when we started doing this, but we are a paper plate family and we live off paper plates. Like we've got plenty of dishes if you want to see. Check out our upcoming vlog. Oh, look how dirty this is, you guys. We are gonna organize this in some time. We've got plans. It's not dirty, it's just... It's not dirty. Let me say that again. It is not dirty, it's just cluttery, and we never use them because I get sick of starting the dishwasher every day, and I don't know, cleaning dishes, ain't nobody got time for that sometimes. So we use paper plates a lot for dinner. It's just easy, we throw them away, boom, 140 pack. Next we have some light bulbs. So this is for our porch light. We need a new light bulb. Which actually it's, it is working. Oh, weird. Yeah, I drove by last night, it was working. Okay, and then we just need a couple rooms that need some brighter lights, so we got these. Yeah, I don't know if most people like to use the LED lights. Those are the more energy saving, they last 10 years, but I don't know, those LED lights are just. They're either 
like blinding because they're so bright and like white light. Yeah. I can't handle it. Or it's like they're dim and dingy. Yeah. So, so we, we still yeah, use we're replace yours. We still use those normal light bulbs, the uh, halogen bulbs or the HD light bulbs. So we got some butter spread. We like the Lando Lakes butter with olive oil and sea salt. Just a little bit healthier option for butter. We've got these. This was kind of an epic fail. We've got five little red potatoes here. And I just thought they'd be bigger, I guess. So I'll probably need to get a few more red potatoes. But it's a new recipe I'm trying from How Inez Rolls. It's one of her freezer meals. So stay tuned for that because I'll definitely vlog it, let you guys know how it is. But it's got red potatoes, some chicken breasts, broccoli, bacon, cheese. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's for. And then another meal I'm trying from How Inez Rolls is called Beef Lombardi. Another freezer meal I'm going to try. So we got some ground beef, some Texas toast with cheese this time. We haven't tried the with cheese, so we're going to see if the kids like this a little bit better. Some garlic bread, and then a bunch of random toppings that we'll need for that recipe. Some cheddar cheese, some egg noodles, chicken broth. Oh wait, this is for the pizzas over here. So this will be for the spaghetti sauce. Diced tomatoes, tomato paste. And last but not least, tomorrow Marcus will be making dinner. One of his recipes. What am I making? Tuscan garlic chicken. Oh, knew this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because this was your suggestion. So we got some baby spinach. We're going to have some chicken breasts. We had some of the ingredients already, so we just need a few. So some heavy whipping cream, some shredded Parmesan cheese, and some sun-dried tomatoes. That's vital. Yes. That makes the dish. And we're just going to have some steamed rice and some steamed asparagus as a side. Nice. So that gets us through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Five meals. Five meals with all of this grocery haul. All about $200 for five meals, which I feel pretty good about. The kids' lunches, some snacks, cereal, essentials, even Valentine's Day candy. So that is our grocery haul today, you guys. Over and done. Didn't have to go in the store. Feeling good about it. All right, guys, thanks for joining us for another Life As We Go Meds grocery haul. We are doing this every Saturday. We're going to do it every Saturday. We have to get groceries on Saturdays because the week just gets too crazy and busy. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate all you new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. We appreciate your support. That's it for today. That's all. Thanks for joining us for Ty's last basketball game championship. championship. Did they win? Yes. They did win. Did you score a basket? No. So close. Almost. That's all that matters. You know, the coach came up to me after the game and said, Ty has improved so much since game one. So You have improved a lot. If, if anyone got the reward for most improved player, that guy is it. Ooh, 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 ooh. The most improved player. Great, Ty. I think he got that when he played football, too. Yeah, he can improve a lot when he sets his mind to it. Huh, Ty? Mm-hmm. So we're, we're proud of him, and football season is actually going to start next month. It's flag football. Ty's really good at football. Especially pulling flags. Yeah, he is awesome on defense. He loves to pull those flags. He does. Anyway, that's a wrap for this Saturday. And we'll spit those videos out as fast as we can. We have quite a few to edit, so we're going to get them up as soon as we can. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Like it. We hope you stay with us. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.